But before we begin, massive shout out to my sponsor, Instant Gaming. If you guys are looking for some really cheap games and want to support the channel in the process, then check out the link in the description for more details. Hey everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So today I wanted to highlight some of the new gameplay changes or new gameplay mechanics coming into the game that have been teased during the gameplay reveal trailer. You'd be actually surprised how much is actually hidden inside that if you pay close attention. So today I'm just gonna go over all of that, kind of highlight some of the new stuff that might be coming into Ghost Recon Breakpoint and I'm mainly gonna focus on things that are just kind of little gameplay changes. I'm not gonna focus on some of the main stuff they've obviously been talking about. I think everybody has kind of covered that to death with the new, obviously, survival elements, the different mechanics, all that sort of stuff. I'm just gonna leave out of it. It's just gonna be small little things that you could have missed while watching the trailer. So the first thing I want to talk about and notice are the different ammo types. We catch a glimpse of a sniper loading individual bullets to a sniper magazine. Of course he could just be reloading the mag, but it seems kind of odd that they would focus so much on it. And plus, if he would be reloading a magazine, you would think he would come prepared with a fully loaded mag. To me, this does look like different ammo types will be available in the game for you to switch out on the fly. Second thing is out of cover leaning when shooting. A very quick shot in the game showcases the heavy guy lean slightly to the right as he aims down sight to take down an enemy. You'll notice that he's out of cover as he's standing in an open field before shooting. This does look like leaning will be making its way to the game, however it does seem very minimal. At first I thought it was just a glitch. It could be entirely possible that the developers are not quite sure if the feature will make it into the game. That's why they didn't choose to emphasize very much on it. But let me know what you guys think of this. I do think that leaning would be a great addition to the game. It would just add another level of kind of like tactical gameplay to Breakpoint. I mean, we already have that in Rainbow Six Siege, which I do understand is a completely different game, but it is in the same universe. So it would be cool to see that in Breakpoint as well. Ghost movement has received some love as well. In one of the clips, a rocket is being fired at one of the ghosts. Upon impact, the ghost dolphin dives forward. This could be just some extra ragdoll from the explosion, but I do assume it will be a player-controlled feature. Otherwise, I feel like it would just lead to a lot of frustration if it was something that would randomly happen during gameplay. On the topic of movement, there appears to be sliding in the game. Once again, triggered by the same ghost. You can see her slide into place as she's popping off a smoke grenade, which is another new addition to Breakpoint. I do wonder if those extra movements will be tied to that specific class, seeing how she's the only one that does it in the gameplay review trailer. So I've got a couple of extra pieces of information as well that I have kind of gathered from watching different videos, reading articles and that sort of stuff. So now you'll be able to wait at your camp or the biovac for the perfect time and weather conditions, meaning you no longer have to wait around and use fast travel to get the right time suited for you. Apparently, there's a few options to choose from and depending on what time you choose, you will also get a weather forecast alongside it. That to me is a huge quality of life improvement and will make things so much more fun as you can now wait for the perfect storm to brew in order to use your sniper in sync with the thunder. Which even talking about it just sounds so amazing. So a dedicated knife slot for your ghost is going to be a thing in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. As we saw in the trailer, Ubisoft has put greater emphasis on stealth and takedowns in Breakpoint, meaning they had the opportunity to bring in a dedicated knife slot for your character. You'll get different knife types. I am no knife expert, but I think there was a karambit knife in there and something that looks like a bowie knife. Additionally, if you own Wildlands, there's a challenge in the game right now. Once completed, we'll reward you with a new knife. So it's kind of cool that they're also adding challenges into Wildlands for already existing Wildlands owners to get some new sweet gear for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. But that is going to do it guys for this video. It was kind of short and sweet. Hopefully you guys have learned something new about the game. And if you did, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for, like I said, plenty more Ghost Recon Breakpoint content. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're going to have a wonderful day and I shall see you guys next time. Take care and goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.